let's make a lemon drop cobbler. It's gonna be good. Okay, these are the ingredients. So I have my, I'm gonna use one can of the lemon cream pie filling. So I just got this here. I'm gonna use, I probably wanna use the whole can because I have an eight and a half by eight and a half little casserole dish here. Um, typically it's kind of made with, um, in a bigger pan and they took the recipe calls for two cans. I'm just gonna do one can, I'm gonna make a small one. Um, so we have one can of the lemon filling. We have one cup of butter, uh, uh, buttermilk, whole buttermilk. I'm actually making my homemade buttermilk. So this is one cup of regular whole milk and one tablespoon of lemon. I let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. And so a little bit longer because I'm, you know, preparing everything. So this is what we have here. And then we have one cup of off, uh, regular granulated sugar. We have one cup of all-purpose flour. We're gonna put in here one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And then we're gonna also use one fourth teaspoon of salt. We are going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of lemon extract. We're also gonna melt one stick of butter into this pan here. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. I have already preheated my oven to 350 degrees, okay? So that's gonna go here. And so we're gonna go ahead and just get this in there. Like so. And we'll just let that be in the oven while we Okay, so I have my mix bowl here. We're gonna mix up our dry ingredients first. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have one cup of flour. Just dump that in. And then we have one cup of sugar. Let's get that poured in. And then we're gonna go in for one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. One. And a half teaspoon. One and a half teaspoon. And then we're gonna go ahead and just give this a mix. Just to stir. Make sure it's stirred up nicely. Okay, so I have put the pan in the oven. So while that's in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and incorporate our wet ingredients. So we have one cup of buttermilk. teaspoon of lemon extract.
Okay, here you want to make sure that you uh, go ahead and mix up the bottom of your bowl. You want to make sure that it's uh, nice and incorporated. Um, the wet ingredients with the dry. And it should be like a liquidy type of batter here. You just see here as I'm mixing here and I'm showing you um, just how loose it is and that that's okay. Um, so that's fine. You can also add more flavoring if you choose to. But um, in this case, I just added what the recipe called for. Okay, so now the butter has melted and I'm taking it out of the oven now. And we're gonna go ahead and incorporate um, the wet ingredients into the butter. Mm, that looks so good, look at that. Yum, yum. So this is gonna be very, very delicious. Please be careful, because you know, of course, it's, it's hot coming out of the oven, so use your, use your oven mitts. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead and all you do is just straight pour the batter into the butter. You do not mix it, okay? So just kind of pour it all around. Um, I did realize that I, because the pan is smaller than what the recipe requires, um, I, I see I stopped right here, but I thought about not putting the rest, but I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and put the rest because, you know, what am I going to do with the remaining of the batter anyway? So anyway, I put it in there. It didn't harm anything. Um, it just kind of incorporated over the filling once it got done but other than that it was still amazing so basically that's what you do here you don't have to um do anything else um at that point so now after you incorporate that you do not mix it just go ahead and um you can now what you can do too is here if you want this lemon to be a little bit more sweeter then you can just go ahead and add sugar at this point and kind of mix it up together um and Go ahead and just scoop it out and just drop it into the batter there, into the pan, as you see I'm doing. And this is where the drop comes in. So it's a lemon drop cobbler. <laughs> so um, so just go ahead and do that. Um, I didn't add any sugar be before, but um, I am going to actually add some sugar just a little bit over the top. I didn't use this whole can because I felt the pan was a little smaller. So... Um, I pretty much just put a few more scoops in there and I left maybe a fourth, one fourth cup of filling in the can. And um, cause I didn't want to put too much um, in, in here at one time. So yeah. So I was just, I'm showing you here, you can't really see it there, but I did leave some in the can. Um, so yeah, so I had a little sugar, so there you go. So I'm just going to just spread it over the top of, of the little, the filling with the cake mixture and this is just to give the lemon a little bit more sugar a little more sweet because I felt that the filling was a little you know a little tart um, so yeah so now in the oven we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 and it's gonna go ahead and bake for I'll say a good hmm I think this bake for like maybe 40 minutes and there you go, out of the oven. And you see how golden brown it is and everything is covered. And oh my goodness, the inside smells so good. But it looks beautiful and amazing. Yum, yum. So yeah, guys, you got to try this. It is just amazing. And so easy, so quick. It, you know, it doesn't take long. And you can use anything you want. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop me out a little bit here. So you guys can kind of see what it looks like on the inside. And um, it was so amazing. Look at that. So I scooped me a little piece up and um, we're gonna taste it here. And look at that. Look at the filling that's in there. Look, look, mm -mm. kind of reminds me of a lemon pie. Um, but you do, you see, you have the little custard there, the lemon custard and you have the, it came out perfect. I was like, okay. Delicious. Mm -mm. Hey, okay, guys, I had to mute this part out of the uh, video here. Sorry about that. It was music playing in the background. Hey, so I went on and took that piece that I cut from the other clip <laughs> uh, here to church on Sunday the next day, and I wanted to show you guys this. So anyway, I'm here. I'm tasting it now so you guys can see. It turned out beautiful. It's delicious. Um, I also added a little bit more um, this morning. I added some... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, some s s cinnamon sugar, as well as I made a little glaze. 
and I actually sprinkled that on the top of it, okay? Just to make it a little bit more sweet. You know, lemon can be a little tarty, so I wanted to be a little more sweet. So anyway, here we go. We're going to taste it, and then I will uh, tell you guys how it turned out, which, of course, at this point, I already know how it turned out. Dem delicious, amazing. So anyway, <laughs> here it is. Um, this is exactly how I imagined it would taste. It's much uh, it's sweeter. It's not as tarty, but it's very um, rich. Um, so you can do this with any type of uh, filling you want. You can use blueberry, apple, strawberry, cherry, whatever kind you want. You want, and it is going to turn out amazing. It's very easy to make, very quick. Um, you go into a quick potluck. You want to just throw this together real quick. Hey, go ahead, hook it up. So, yeah, guys. So it was good. I appreciate you guys for joining. Please share, like, and comment. And um, we will see you guys on the next video. And you know our family hashtag, what in God's delicious name. Bye.